What is the result of percent in Python? What does the percent in a calculation? I can't seem to work out what it does. Does it work out a percent of the calculation for example, 4% 2 is apparently equal to 0. How? Oh? The percent, modulo, operator yields the remainder from the division of the first argument by the second. The numeric arguments are first converted to a common type. A zero right argument raises the zero division error exception. The arguments may be floating point numbers, for example, 3.14% 0 0.7 equals 0 0.34. Since 3.14 equals 4 times 0 0.7 plus 0 0.34, the modulo operator always yields a result with the same sign as its second operand, or 0. The absolute value of the result is strictly smaller than the absolute value of the second operand, 2. Taken from, this URL. Example 1. 6% 2 evaluates to 0 because there's no remainder if 6 is divided by 2, 3 times. Example 2. 7% 2 evaluates to 1 because there's a remainder of 1 when 7 is divided by 2, 3 times. So to summarize that, it returns the remainder of a division operation, or 0 if there is no remainder. So 6% 2 means find the remainder of 6 divided by 2. Somewhat off topic, the percent is also used in string formatting operations like percent equals to substitute values into a string. Again, off topic but it seems to be a little documented feature which took me a while to track down, and I thought it was related to Python's modulo calculation for which this SO page ranks highly. An expression like x percent y evaluates to the remainder of x divided by y, well, Technically it is modulus instead of reminder so results may be different if you are comparing with other languages where percent is the remainder operator. There are some subtle differences, if you are interested in the practical consequences see also why Python's integer division flaws better. Precedence is the same as operators, division and multiplication. Nine divided by two is equal to four, four times two is eight, 9 minus 8 is 1, the remainder. Python gotcha. Depending on the Python version you are using, percent is also the, deprecated, string interpolation operator, so watch out if you are coming from a language with automatic typecasting, like PHP or J's, where an expression like 12% 2 plus 3 is legal. In Python it will result in type error column not all arguments converted during string formatting which probably will be pretty confusing for you. Update for Python 3. User NOOP comments. Nine halves is 4.5 in Python. You have to do integer division like so. Nine slash slash two if you want Python to tell you how many whole objects is left after division four. To be precise, integer division used to be the default in Python 2. Mind you, this answer is older than my boy who is already in school and at the time 2.x were mainstream. In modern Python 9, 2 results 4.5 indeed. Update. User.ear underscore boy, in the comment session. Q. Can you please explain why minus 11% 5 equals 4, dir underscore boy. This is weird, right? If you try this in JavaScript. This is because in JavaScript percent is the remainder operator while in Python it is the modulus, clock math, operator. You can get the explanation directly from GVR.
edit, da ia underscore boy. In Java and iOS minus 11% 5 equals minus 1 whereas in Python and Ruby minus 11% 5 equals 4. Well half of the reason is explained by the Paolo Scardi, and rest of the explanation is below here. In Java and iOS, percent gives the remainder that means if you divide 11% 5 gives quotient equals 2 and remainder equals 1 and minus 11% 5 gives quotient equals minus 2 and remainder equals minus 1. Sample code in Swift iOS. Why Python's integer division Flossy was asked, again, today to explain why integer division in Python returns the floor of the result instead of truncating towards zero like C dot for positive numbers, there's no surprise. But if one of the operands is negative, the result is flawed, i.e., rounded away from zero, towards negative infinity. This disturbs some people, but there is a good mathematical reason. The integer division operation, slash slash, and its sibling, the modulo operation, percent, go together and satisfy a nice mathematical relationship, all variables are integers, such that. Assuming a and b are more than equals zero. If you want the relationship to extend for negative a, keeping b positive, you have two choices. If you truncate q towards zero, I will become negative, so that the invariant changes to zero less than equals abs or less than otherwise, you can floor q towards negative infinity, and the invariant remains zero less than equals or less than b. Update. Fix this para. In mathematical number theory, mathematicians always prefer the latter choice, see for example Wikipedia. For Python, I made the same choice because there are some interesting applications of the modulo operation where the sign of A is uninteresting. Consider taking a POSIX timestamp, second since the start of 1970, and turning it into the time of day. Since there are 24 times 3600 equals 86,400 seconds in a day, this calculation is simply T% 86,400. But if we were to express times before 1970 using negative numbers, the truncate towards zero rule would give a meaningless result. Using the floor rule it all works out fine. Other applications I've thought of are computations of pixel positions in computer graphics. I'm sure there are more dot for negative v, by the way, everything just flips, and the invariant becomes. So why doesn't C do it this way? Probably the hardware didn't do this at the time C was designed. And the hardware probably didn't do it this way because in the oldest hardware, negative numbers were represented as sign plus magnitude rather than the two's complement representation used these days, at least for integers. My first computer was a control data mainframe and it used one's complement for integers as well as floats. A pattern of 61's meant negative zero. Tim Peters, who knows where all Python's floating point skeletons are buried, has expressed some worry about my desire to extend these rules to floating point modulo. He's probably right. The truncate towards negative infinity rule can cause precision loss for x% 1.0 when x is a very small negative number. But that's not enough for me to break integer modulo, and slash slash is tightly coupled to that. P.S. Note that I am using slash slash instead of, this is Python 3 syntax, and also allowed in Python 2 to emphasize that you know you are invoking integer division. The operator in Python 2 is ambiguous, since it returns a different result for two integer operands than for an int and a float or two floats. But that's a totally separate story. See PEP 238 doc posted by Guido Van Rossum at 9.49 am. The modulus is a mathematical operation, sometimes described as clock arithmetic. I find that describing it as simply a remainder is misleading and confusing because it masks the real reason it is used so much in computer science. It really is used to wrap around cycles. Think of a clock, suppose you look at a clock in military time, 
where the range of times goes from 0 o'clock to 23.59. Now if you wanted something to happen every day at midnight, you would want the current time mod 24 to be 0. If, our percent 24 equals equals 0. You can think of all hours in history wrapping around a circle of 24 hours over and over and the current hour of the day is that infinitely long number mod 24. It is a much more profound concept than just a remainder, it is a mathematical way to deal with cycles and it is very important in computer science. It is also used to wrap around arrays, allowing you to increase the index and use the modulus to wrap back to the beginning after you reach the end of the array. Yes. Mm -hmm.